Assalamu alaikum. Invite endless blessings into your home. Please subscribe now. The button below. A'udhu billahi min ash-shaitanir rajeem. Bismillahir Rahmanir Raheem. Atiya Allah, Atiya Rasul, Ulul Amri minkum. And always a reminder for myself, Ya Rabbi, an abdukul ajeezu, da'eefu, miskeenu, zalimu, jahal. And but for the grace of Allah that we are still in existence, Allah's infinite rahmah, inshaAllah to dress us, bless us and continuously forgive us. From Bismillahir Rahmanir Raheem, a reminder always for myself that the secret of Hajj is in Arafah, the pinnacle of your year, the height of the year is to reach towards the Hajj and make every intention every Ya Rabbi let me I'm making intention to go for Hajj and to be dressed from the reality of Hujaj and those whom are making the physical Hajj but always to be at the spiritual Hajj and the height of that spiritual Hajj is Arafah. Means you're going deeper now into the secret of that reality and immense blessings of that Arafah is in the Qurban. And what that Qurban when Allah describes it's a tremendous ransom. What type of difficulty it takes away from where we fell short from what Allah had wanted for us. Allah wants the best for His creation but they follow their desires because of free will that Allah has given as a gift to us free will that separates us from the animal kingdom. And that's why all the Allah come into our lives and teach the greatest gift that you can give to Allah is return the free will. When we take a path in which to return our free will, we are entering into the oceans of ihtiba, wajib al-taqlid. Fa Ahlul Sunnah wa Jama'ah they call wajib al-taqlid. It's wajib, it's mandatory to be following, not to be drifting as driftwood by yourself anywhere in this creation but to be following. And the best of following is that Ya Allah, Tiya Rasulu Ulul Amri Minkum, that Allah supreme to be obeyed and that obedience of Allah only in the heart of Sayyidina Muhammad from amongst all the Rasuls. Prophet is the one whom accomplished that reality to the highest perfection. Then from that obedience and the holy heart of Sayyidina Muhammad is Ulul Amr. In the, courtia, in the categories of Ulul Am, Budal, Nujab, Nuqab, Awtad, Wal Akhyar, Wa Jinn, Wa Malaika. All of them are considered Ulul Amr because they take the Amr and disseminate the command from Allah through. Sayyidina Muhammad That's why that, that is a continuous rope of our life, it's understanding and it's mentioning that everything is flowing, this is real tawheed. Everything is always flowing from Allah into the heart of Sayyidina Muhammad nothing outside of that for us. No way to reach what Allah wants except through what has come through the heart of Sayyidina Muhammad and Prophet then rahmah and mercy is then this dispatching through ulul am. They hear the command of the meme because the alif to the meme to the ra. So they are the masters of that reality and Allah make them to be Rabbaniyoon because they carry the command from the alif that flows through the meme of Sayyidina Muhammad and they become the Ra and Rabbaniyoon. Means that immense reality is the secret of Hajj and one year's pilgrimaging. That to go up and sacrifice our bad character, 
sacrifice all our wants and our desires and every year to be closer that, Ya Rabbi want to submit my will back. Then you have to join the caravan, the caravan of the Asir, the captives. That the beginning of the journey and the reminder of the journey is that we fill in a well. And that well was Allah throwing us into this well of difficulty and testing and when Allah want to guide the servant it's a guidance towards surrendering your will. So that you can become the people whom are captive, these are all symbolisms that I tie myself to not have my desire, tie my feet not to take me where I want to go but as captive and to be fed from Allah's table where Allah then describes the table of Allah their yateem, that they're orphaned because they have nowhere to go. They're poor. What's the other word for that? Yep. Miskeen. Miskeen means that they, they consider themselves in Allah's way as having nothing. That whatever they have of life, they know it's nothing in Allah's Divinely Presence. When someone asked in the email that, what, what is dunya and do we give everything away and, and is everything to be walked away from, from dunya? I said, no. Sayyidina Umar Farooq described that, dunya is either you're chasing it or it's chasing you. You're a slave to dunya or dunya is slave to you. So this category of miskeen. Because this is all their teachings, yateem that cut off all the friends you think you know. Cut off everything that taking you in directions that is not this way of surrendering the will. You can't surrender to yourself your will because you would be playing a joke on yourself. The other cousins when they want to give donation. They get their money and they go like this, ask Allah, whatever you want take it. <laughs> it all comes back down, they put it in their pocket, so Allah didn't want anything. Astaghfirullah, he's playing always games with Allah So no, you can't surrender your will to yourself because you know you're still in your will. That's why we started with ihtiba. So I have to find one of these ulul am and live a life of listening to their guidance, their direction, their teaching so that it's not my will but it's your will through these ulul am. And that's when Allah described in all His holy books, Thy kingdom come, my will will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Every holy book has this du'a. The kingdom of Allah's coming means He's opening into the heart, His kingdom, His, His malakut. And there can be no man with two hearts where he's king to his one heart and he's saying, oh my heart also Allah has the, His kingdom is going to be the king. Allah just said, no man has two hearts. This one qalb you have, Allah must be the authority and Allah how you know when Allah is the authority on your heart is that you've been overtaken with the love of Sayyidina Muhammad Not when you're thinking you're speaking on Allah's behalf, this was the aqeedah of shaitan. This when you know your two are different. The aqeedah of shaitan said, nothing but Allah, I don't accept Bani Adam. 
And so everything is Allah, Allah, Allah speaking on Allah's behalf. This was aqidah of shaitan. Aqidah of Rahman is to know that when you're overtaken with the kingdom of Allah you're actually filled with the love of Sayyidina Muhammad As a result of that ishq and love you have been dressed with the love of Allah قُلِينِ كُنْتُمْ تُهِبُونَ اللَّهِ فَالتَّبِيُونِ يُهِبُكُمُ اللَّهِ that if your entire being and wujud is to be following the way of Prophet that you're giving your love to your ears, to your eyes, to your breath, your hands and your feet, your walking love of Sayyidina Muhammad Doesn't mean you're perfected because everybody's making mistakes, this is dunya. Perfection only for the Prophets but that we are taking a path in which to fill ourselves with that love. For if we have the love of Sayyidina Muhammad filling our being then know you are filled with the love of Allah So then we spend our life to find this ulul am that I want to surrender my biggest gift. We did the money, we did the time. We did everything, but Ya Rabbi I'm coming to surrender my will so that I can be from this category whom eat from your Divinely table. So we said, what is eating from the table? We talked before, it's not a kebab from light, Allah is going to send you buffet all with light. I want some kebabs, please put some agh because it was also a defense against these difficulties. So you put some agh on your… the table of light is Allah just Divinely lights and knowledges that I'm going to have you eat from my table of heaven. You're orphaned, you don't know the people that you knew before, you're a stranger in a world that surrounds you, you're miskeen, you don't have the same desires of conquering the earth. You find yourself to be poor amongst these people of dunya who love dunya so intensely. And if you sit with them they mock you that, why aren't you trying to conquer everything? And then to become asir and captive that I've tied my way to a way into this reality. I kept the fellowship of those who want to reach that reality. Means this is every Muharram we step with our right foot that, Ya Rabbi we're asking to reach towards that kingdom and that reality. Reach to an ocean in which we submit our desires, our wounds and to be dressed by these lights and to be dressed and blessed by these realities that Allah to give to His servant immense realities that can't be imagined. And as Muharram starts, reality for us <coughs> when they were asking about salah and the apex of salah and the apex of salah is your sujood. The apex of our salah and the secret of our salah is in the sujood because every action has a reality. It's the sujood that everybody begins to leave and for us it's immense reality that when insan is, is asking to surrender themselves and what is a conflict between us and Allah is the head and the maqs. You're a creation using your head to find the heavens and Allah says, I'm not in heaven, not on earth but I'm on the heart of my believer. So our life was to raise the heart and lower the head. And the power of sujood is to show that to Allah Ya Rabbi I don't know whatever cleverness you gave to me in life. It's nothing in your presence and I 
humbly submit myself to the best of my ability, Ya Rabbi and I put my head to the ground. That the donkey of mine that commits every type of difficulty and badness, Ya Rabbi I'm nothing, I'm nothing. And this is a, the dearest form of prayer to Allah People think the secret of salah is to make du'a, no the du'a is for you. The sujood was for Allah The du'a is what you wanted. The sujood was for Allah to show I'm nothing Ya Rabbi, whatever you bestow upon me I am your slave and servant. And when I put my head to the ground my heart is at the highest point. And when I put my head to the ground my soul freely sits up and shows Allah I'm riding this insan. When that insan has no ability to make sujood, we're not talking about sick so get you know 50 emails of people who are sick. Even when we have arthritis in our knees after the salah, make sujood, go lie down to the floor and put your face on the floor. You don't have to go back in tahiyyat on your knees if they don't work, just lie on the floor and, and make your face onto the floor. But what dear to Allah is that whatever you bestow upon me I'm nothing Ya Rabbi, my, my head to the ground, my heart is at its highest. And my soul is showing Allah that this insan is submitting to your heavenly kingdom. My kingdom come and your will will be done on this earth. I'm asking you Ya, ya Rabbi grant me to be your servant, your real servant, your sincere servant because you're showing the king like a warrior for Allah that, look. The donkey you gave me, he's down and I am victorious and riding him. So all those who think they're with the heaven of Allah can you bring your donkey down? So one cousin group, they said, no we pray standing, shame on you that your donkey is so strong that it rides you. And says, not for a thousand years will I put my head down and they pray like this all day long. They gave to Sayyidina Isa salam, they gave to every Prophet the same sujood, tell your nation to bow down. They don't care about your knees on the ground, they don't care about your feet on the ground, put your face to the ground and show the immense immense majestic power of Allah that you're nothing in the presence of His might and His majesty and as a result you gain God's satisfaction and happiness in your sujood. And as a result of God's satisfaction and happiness He takes away every type of negativity in your sujood. So then it is an immense grounding for those who are studying energy. When they want to ground themselves because of God's satisfaction, because Allah's satisfaction in the action of bowing down, Allah makes the earth to be a grounding for insan and pull every type of negativity from them in the process of that sujood. Then the other cousins that think they're very clever. They, they understood that there's a blessing in sujood so why don't we just bring the ground to us and they tie something up here and they walk around with the ground onto their head because they don't want about us. Yeah, so they tie it and they put the, the ground here and say that we'll just carry the ground with us in our prayers. It's just trying to be clever with Allah but everybody was ordered the sujood. You can't tie the sujood to your head and you can't stand up asking Allah you, you're missing the immense blessing and power that Allah want to bestow upon His creation. That everything I want to give to you humble yourself before me 
And that's why when we watch all these movies of kings and, and kingdoms, it was always a sign for us that humble yourself before the presence of the king. How much they even had adab that when they would go to visit a king, they would never greet from high but they would come down to greet the king. And that the king would greet from high and the people would greet from low. Every action was important to the king. You would watch from old movies of kingdoms, means you wouldn't stand up on a stairway and a king coming down like this and from above you say, hi, how are you? You come down to be at that presence and you greet them face, not from above. They made an effort to come down and they greet to the face. The king can be up and greet everybody from above. All these ihtiram what we call tashrif, there was a protocol on the kingdom but democracy ruined it and made dema, demonocracy. Everybody just demons, everybody saying we're just all equal, we don't have to bow down to anything or anyone. And that becomes then every type of bad characteristic. And when they don't make sujood Allah does not take the negativity away. When the negativity doesn't go the person becomes more and more distant, more and more filled with negative energy and then their heart becomes darkened. So means the pinnacle of our prayers, the, the secret of our salah is not in the du'a, the du'a was for you, the sujood was for Allah And that becomes the immense blessings in which to take every difficulty away. Every communication with our Lord is most powerful in sujood because it's the most humbling position in which to talk to Allah as soon as you want to make a request, as soon as you want to pray, as soon as you want something from Allah Ya Rabbi bi izzatika sajidan bi qismatika radidan but I'm, I'm submitting to your immense power and I'm rida, I'm satisfied with whatever you've written for me but I'm begging a request. And now you have the audience of Allah Almighty. We pray that Allah open for us more and more understanding even those whom are coming new, coming new. Don't scare them with too many rules. Mawlana Shaykh said, just make two sujoods a day. Talk to Allah before your day starts and talk to Allah when your day ends. Make your sujood and talk to Allah It's enough that Allah to see this symbol of humility until Allah open within your heart to pray more. Our salah and our praying is not in our hands. If Allah loves us and calls us, He teaches us what to say and how to say it. But if Allah doesn't grant that, there's not anyone on earth can teach you how to call Allah your mouth won't be able to even mention it. And there's no one on earth who can teach you how to pray it if Allah didn't want it to happen. Subhana rabbika rabbal izzati amma yasifoon wa salaamun al mursaleen. Alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen wa hurmati Muhammad al Mustafa wa sil Surat al Fatiha. Click the link now to subscribe.